you're listening to independent tv7 kindly click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at independent tv7 also don't forget to click the bell icon to get more notification thanks for watching the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria has asked the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja to jail the Director General of, okay, uh, as it is uh, the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, uh, everywhere, asked uh, the Federal High Court uh, sitting in Abuja to jail the Director General of the Department of State uh, Services, uh, DSS. Uh, the call came following a court decision that was uh, supposedly uh, to allow the leader of the proscribed uh, indigenous people of Biafra I pop Namdekano, Mazin Namdekano, a maximum possible comfort while in the custody. The trial judge, uh, Justice Binta Yanko, who gave uh, the order on Thursday, also ordered uh, the DSS to allow the Biafra Jitator to have a change of clothes, give him a medical attention, and allow him practice his faith. Uh, the rule of law uh, must be observed in all our dealings, and we must impress it on the government uh, at all levels to actively toe the part. Uh, the Human Rights Writers Association has said that uh, uh, the rights of every citizen uh, against any form of oppression and the impunity must uh, be jealously guarded and protected with the legal tools at our uh, uh, disposal coming from uh, uh, the council and uh, the lawyer uh, definitely yeah to continue in same vein uh, it says that the rights of uh, citizens against any form of uh, oppression and also impunity must uh, be jealously guarded and uh, protected with uh, protected with the legal uh, tools at our disposal uh, this is coming from uh, Uriwa uh, all binding court orders must be obeyed. Nobody, irrespective of his or opposition, uh, will be allowed to fall with uh, court judgment. Uh, yes, violation of a court order is serious, and you could find yourself paying dearly. Uh, committing contempt uh, can include both civil and criminal penalties, such as uh, fines. Uh, okay, such as fines, uh, attorney's fees, uh, reduce uh, custody time, and also. Even jail times. Uh, the continuous refusal of the DSS to abide by the rules of the court is regarded as simply as a contempt of court. We were strongly uh, convinced that the court does, uh, does the needful by sending the head of the DSS uh, to jail uh, for treating the order of the competent uh, court of law uh, with contempt and uh, absolute uh, disrespect. Yusuf Magaji uh, Bichi uh, was also appointed uh, in September, and as, as it is, I would say uh, the DSS uh, director, uh, uh, as the General State uh, Security Service, should be uh, definitely, you know, um, uh, questioned or rather arrested. And this is what Uriwa uh, is clamoring for by saying that uh, all just calls to sack a uh, DSS uh, director, not even sack arrest um, and uh, over General uh, Namdi Kanu uh, directorate. Uh, the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria everywhere uh, uh, asked the Federal High Court doing uh, such city in Abuja to jail uh, the Director General of uh, the DSS. And that is what uh, he has already said, and that is what it is. And by saying the court came following a court uh, decision uh, that was uh, supposed uh, to allow the uh, leader of the proscribed uh, indigenous uh, people of Biafra. Uh, because whenever I, I listen or I hear uh, this uh, proscribed uh, indigenous people of Biafra, I get very, very furious because I don't like that word uh, 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 proscribed. Because when you say you proscribe something, uh, that means uh, that uh, uh, prescription uh, simply means uh, they are indulging in criminal acts and also, you know, proscribing as such as a, uh, as a, uh, um, has been a, what uh, it's embedded uh, in uh, IPOP, uh, saying the IPOP, uh, which is indigenous people of Biafra, have committed a whole lot of havoc, you know, you know, indicting them. Also, uh, uh, the allegation that was meted on them says uh, they are, you know, destroying the police re reformation or government uh, reformation, uh, which I believe uh, is not uh, what it is, or it's not what it is. Uh, think it is, or you would know what they say uh, it is, uh, because as it is, indigenous people of Africa, um, you know, led by Mazen Namdekanu, you know, with his antecedents, I would say I've not really done anything wrong uh, to deserve uh, this maltreatment, you know, that is, uh, you know, melted on him, and I would say uh, by this so-called Fulani uh, government, um, already you know, deeming fit to make sure that Namdekanu, you know, uh, rough in uh, detention uh, because the court. Already has not even given verdict, uh, you know, given verdict to Namdekanu as per the allegation. They are leveling against him. 
because an Americano is just a an innocent man, an ordinary man uh, who is believed, uh, who believes uh, in justice and also believes in uh, equity, uh, because the so-called uh, President Mamadou Buhari's administration has, you know. Uh, suffered in Nigerians a whole lot, and the Nigerians uh, are just you know uh, sleeping, waking up, and suffering and smiling. And this is what has really, really eaten deep down in the minds of Nigerians because Nigerians uh, no longer you know have a freedom of speech, a freedom of movement, a freedom of association, uh, which is embedded in the constitution. And that is why Sunday Igbo and Namdekan, the counterpart, has already or has been you know clamoring for a uh, good governance, uh, clamoring for change. Uh, clamoring for you know uh, the rethink of this uh, so-called uh, present administration i usually uh, this dissensation is just um, a contraption you know uh, which an uh, american had already you know said concerning an uh, nigerian government nigerian government at today as at today uh, have no uh, you know their uh, sympathy and have no interest of uh, nigerians at art um, as it is because they are acting on impunity and this impunity has you know really eaten deep you know into their lives and that is why they never care about uh, what uh, uh, happens to its citizens um, they never care about what happened to a citizen they just you know believe that uh, yes uh, they have a power of their own and they believe uh, everything uh, they do is just uh, uh, a, a, a does not even you know concern um, uh, the citizen you know they act in impunity like what i've said and uh, in 2017 namdekanu jumped bail uh, the reason why he did that uh, not just because uh, he wanted to run away or uh, run, he ran for his dear, his dear life um, just because the security operatives are uh, acting in order of uh, this present uh, administration uh, concerning Namdekan who says uh, they wanted to kill him. Mm, yes, that is what it is. They wanted to kill him, Namdekan, just because he has been saying uh, to them, they believe he has been saying ill of the, the government. Mm, just because if they had really done the needful, why should Namdekan uh, speak ill of a government? Well, <laughs> uh, Malami will come, or rather, I would say, uh, uh, Garbashe will say, a democratically elected uh, uh, president yes that's the word they will use a democratically elected uh, president is who an american is trying to you know blackmail mm, they believe an american is blackmailing uh, the uh, is blackmailing the president uh, which uh, is a false uh, that's a false uh, allegation uh, because if an american has really you know indicted uh, the uh, president by saying uh, the administration of President Mohamed Rubari uh, has really, really done a whole lot of havoc to the citizens of Nigeria, especially the marginalization, you know, method on the uh, method on the Igbos. Uh, and uh, he believes that uh, the Igbos deserve better, uh, they deserve better than what uh, the contraption called Nigeria has meted upon them. And that is why uh, they have deemed fit, they do, do not want a uh, uh, the diaspora, the international community, to know what uh, is embedded in Nigeria uh, government. Uh, because as it is, President Mamadou Buhari uh, is acting on the volition of his kinsmen, and Malami is just presiding over Nigeria. Well, at this point, I'm going to draw the curtain. I'd like you to share your views in the comment section. Well, thanks for listening, and God bless you.